Hi Church, I hope you're okay. My name is Abby. I am part of Audacious Church in Chester, part of the campus team here. Um, but I also serve in our leadership development ministry department at Audacious Church. I'm, I'm really glad we get to do a devotion together today. My prayer is that in creating space for God, we would have a heart to know him, a heart to seek him, and that we would be um, renewed and transformed by the presence of God and the word of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, I'd love to share a time with you where I have seen the miraculous nature of God in my life. Um, maybe you've experienced countless miracles, or maybe you struggle to just name one. Um, but I hope this encourages you either way to know that it is a miracle that we have hope. Over Advent, I read a quote that said, hope is daring, it's courageous. It has the audacity to reach a hand into the darkness and come out with a handful of light. I love that in knowing God, we have the ability to reach into darkness and pull out light. I had a great family, a great upbringing, but I grew up with kind of little to no ambition or self-belief or hope but through the free gift of salvation I have hope. Jesus invites us to a life of hope reaching into our darkness and bringing light. In Psalm 16 it says you make known to me the path of life and in your presence there is fullness of joy. I think it's brilliant that we have hope in God. Um, God reveals himself to us and in his presence we can experience true joy. I think of Habakkuk in the Old Testament. He had loads of questions and complaints to God and was writing at the time of the Babylonians attacking Judah. Habakkuk is seeing idolatry and injustice everywhere and makes complaints to God asking, why, why aren't you stopping and saving everything? Why is it like this? Why isn't this saved? Why isn't this redeemed? And God, look at this. And hey, have you seen that? But God doesn't leave him hanging. And he responds to Habakkuk telling him, look or wait and remember this and write this down. But God promises Habakkuk that nations will be held accountable to his justice and that God will work all things together for good. Habakkuk is watching the incoming destruction from the city walls after writing these complaints or saying these complaints to God. And as he sits on the city walls, he's audacious. His hope is paper thin, but he reaches his hand into darkness and pulls out light saying, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God, the Lord is my strength. Church, today I dare you to reach into darkness and pull out light, whether that's in your personal world, in relationships, in your work life, in health, education, in school. I don't know what, but where you are seeing darkness, where you may be seeing hopelessness, I dare you today to hope, to, like Habakkuk, rejoice in the Lord. And I encourage you that today to you, that you would live a life that is marked by the miracle of the hope we have in God. Have a great day.